retro rock plays everything. Hey Rob here and it's time for the Miss Pac-Man Tiny Arcade Unboxing. This is really late and I'm sorry about that. It was requested like before Christmas. I got a couple of these uh, for about 20 bucks a piece at Cracker Barrel. And uh, I never got around to unboxing the second one. So here we are. Very sorry I'm this late with it because it was requested by a couple of people. These are done by a company called Super Impulse. They make a lot of like little miniature keychain items. Uh, they make some like Max, uh, Macintosh little miniatures. They make the Mattel Electronics handheld miniatures. I mean, just tiny little guys. I don't even think those actually play games, but these actually work and they're pretty decent, as I said, with the Galaxian. So anyway, uh, let's just get around to the unboxing. Uh, the the case itself is nothing much to uh, really look at, although the fact that it's clear makes it really pretty darn cool in my opinion. I, it shows off the arcade machine really well. Uh, the graphics are very close to the original. I'll uh, pop up a, a view of the original arcade machine right there so you can see it. Wait, there? Yeah, there, there. My finger was probably under it. But anyway, pull this guy out. That make sure your battery is fresh. And I will start unboxing from the top. I cannot remember anything about the last unboxing I did, and I didn't watch it prior to this. So, if there's anything I did wrong in the last one, I'm going to do it again probably. All right. First things first. Oop, it turned on already. <laughs> That's loud. Tiny arcade. And there are the instructions. Okay, I do remember last time I forgot to show the instructions, so this time I did that at least. Here are some of their products. Oh, look at Rolling Beans. Remember Beans? Those are from like the early 2000s. In mid 2000s. I got Gumby stuff. You got a little Barbie, some Pez, tiny little etch a sketch. Pretty cool. All right, let's go take a look at the machine. All right, let's get this thing out of the plastic case. There's the front. Notice the uh, plastic. I said last time that it feels cheap, it still feels cheap, but it's, you know, it feels durable enough to hold up for a while. Um, I was worried that this was going to break, but that didn't happen on any of the others, so it's probably okay. Appears to be a vinyl stick on. Battery on off switch. And there is a nice metal keychain, although I would never use a keychain. I suppose we should take a look and see what kind of batteries we have in here. Hold on a sec. There we go. Probably in the documentation somewhere, but hey, might as well check it. There we go. And looks like three triple A's. So that's not too bad. Again, I prefer double A's. They're a little bit more common, but it's not like triple A's are hard to come by. Well, let's play some Miss Pac-Man, shall we? I'm going to zoom in and try it out. And there we go. There's the start button. Let's see if we can zoom in just a little bit more on this. Oh, it's tiny, all right. And... Didn't hate that. There we go. Well, the controls are okay. They're not quite as responsive as the Galaxian one. But that might be because I'm a little bit cramped up playing it. Now they're they're actually not too bad. Now I'm used to them. You got to be a little bit more light on the touch. There we go. So 
Sorry if you hear that, that's my sump pump. Ooh. Mistakes have been made. Aha! There we go! Not too bad, really. It's funny. I've played some console versions of this that aren't actually quite as good. It seems a little... a little like it's missing a frame or two. Doesn't it seem that way? It's not terrible or anything, but just like it's missing a frame every once in a while. I'm watching through the screen I'm recording, so it's possible that it's just coming in between frames. And it looks like that is true, actually. It does not look as jumpy on the real screen. Of course, it looks tiny on the real screen. There we go. <laughs> Part of the screen is obscured. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. It's got the cup screens. Very nice. Alright, I suppose it's time to pass judgment on this thing. I could probably play it for quite a while. It's a little bit slow, so... I'm having a pretty easy time playing it. Not a bad thing, though. Time for the verdict! All in all, I think the Miss Pac-Man Tiny Arcade Machine is a pretty darn good deal for 20 bucks. There's been a lot of attention paid to it, especially in like the side vinyls where they look like the original Miss Pac-Man, and the front marquee even lights up. The joystick, though it looks cheap and plasticky, actually works pretty well in controlling Miss Pac-Man, and you're not going to have any problems despite their tiny size. Graphics are crisp and colorful, there's even multiple mazes. The sound is also pretty darn clear, although I wish they would have included some kind of volume control for it, if at least a mute button. All in all, really pretty good. Thumbs up. Retro Rocks Gaming Videos